Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and if you can believe it, the Dr. Bright thing was only the second uh, most serious piece of <laughs> sight. Drama is the only news, I want to call it news, but it's not really news, it's just people doing stuff to each other, it's, it's you know... Eh, it is news, but it's only news because it's drama, and that's unfortunate that I have to talk about it, but it is important, I think, that the average viewer understand what's going on on the wiki. Anyway, today we're going to talk a little bit, not a lot, about uh, a user called Citytos, the former head of the SCP uh, licensing department. Now, the licensing department is something I have personal experience with. I also have personal experience with very bad captains of that team. Um, <laughs> one was super inactive, one was super active, but never did it, almost did nothing ever that had to do with licensing. I was just angry at people all the time. And, and this is speaking of somebody who was like in the department under this person and having to basically do almost all of the work for them, but that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> uh, so maybe, maybe licensing is just a very stressful job that ends up with people burned out and leaving to, you know, cause problems. Um, but what happened was the SCP wiki's licensing department had, got challenged on qualifications in IRC, not IRC, in Discord specifically, and didn't take it well um, and started being extremely hostile to the person who was uh, questioning their qualifications and uh, said some very unfortunate things that got them uh, in, in a bit of trouble. But in that conversation, the person who was doing the primary questioning of their qualifications, uh, straight up accused them of being a liar and possibly not even a real, uh, legal expert. Uh, again, I will absolutely not be commenting on the veracity of any claims as to someone's qualifications, mainly because we're talking about people who are either uh, lawyers or lawyer adjacent, and uh, I don't really need that kind of problem. I don't need that ha kind of hassle. Um, but the, the interesting part, the worst part is, is that this licensing captain apparently, and I, I'm not going to speak to the veracity of this claim, but it is something that was claimed by this person, got fired from their job over it. Apparently, someone called up their place of employment to put in a anonymous complaint that they were representing. Uh, they were basically practicing law without a license at uh, for the SCP Wiki. Um, and I don't know how valid or invalid that claim was, but their employer, because they were still under a probationary period uh, at the start of their employment, just decided, well, you're fired. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's what happened. Um, so we have someone who at least claims that they lost a real life legal job <laughs> at a uh, at a firm uh, based on their activity on the SCP Wiki. So yeah, and you know, ended up getting removed from their captainship over the way they behaved during the conversation that led to that action. The whole, my, it's it's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen ripple out from the SCP Foundation, but not entirely unexpected. Um, the thing is, I've always, I actually really had some criticisms of the way uh, City Toast tended to handle licensing issues because there was a strong a strong preference towards the legal minimum of what you needed to do instead of what what I prefer to call the moral maximum of what you should do. Um, in discussing policy, like we do this because it's the legal minimum or it's creative. There was, there was some talk about like, like the creative commons license compels you to do this and compels you to do that, that are not at all in the licensing at all. And this is coming from someone who supposedly, and again, I will make no claims <laughs> with regards to the veracity of this person's qualifications, but who had supposedly become an expert or at least as much of an expert as a uh, average person can be on the Creative Commons license, and was just saying things that almost certainly are untrue. I am not that person. 
I don't have those qualifications, so I've never felt comfortable calling this out before now, but uh, given some of the circumstances, like, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and this is the person that I know, and you know what? A lot of people are going to say, look at, the, look at this, we had a moderator leave and delete like, just straight up do uh, an abuse of power and delete a co- piece of content they didn't like. We had another moderator, uh, no, I believe, yeah, another moderator, at least a team captain, uh, leave <laughs> in disgrace and get fired from their job based on how badly they got fired from the wiki. Uh, um, you might begin to suspect that the SCP wiki has a problem of, uh, of personnel. Um, and you know, then of course there's Dr. Bright, a former administrator who did some extremely terrible things. Uh, and you'll notice I stopped laughing when I talk about that. The thing is the SCP wiki doesn't have like a particular problem with this. Any large organization, is going to have these issues as they go along, especially, especially, and that's, this is going to happen in, this is going to happen in organizations where everyone's getting paid, but in an organization where everyone is volunteers, like, come on, it's going to happen over and over and over again. It will never stop. Uh, and it would be nice if it would. It'd be, I'm sure that the people in the SCP Wiki who are trying to run it would like it if everyone could act with professionalism, but they are literally not professionals. So while you can and should expect it, you can and also should expect that they won't. That's just how it is. Anyway, that said, I, I wanted to go over this just so you, just so that the audience could remain informed as to the goings on on the wiki. This was actually, I, I don't know if it was a bigger deal. I think it's a bigger deal in the sense that the after effects of this licensing snafu and city toasts interpretation of how licensing should be handled um could legitimately be more damaging to the wiki in the long term than the removal of the bright list uh or the remaining of the bright list i think the bright list in the, is is more of a moral uh question for the scp wiki and that can lead to consequences later uh fuck ups in licensing are existential threats to the scp wiki it's not going to people aren't going to you know cancel the scp wiki over a licensing thing they're going to sue the scp wiki and the scp wiki is going to have to shut down licensing is the most it it's the least liked the least uh <laughs> the least liked probably the least the one where they were least qualified to handle as an organ as an organization or a community and also the most critically important department like so important to the health of the fcp wiki i could reiterate that a dozen times and i've already reiterated it two or three times at this point that's that's that i'll leave it there thank you very much for watching if you uh enjoyed the video or you want to know more about what's going on on the site leave a comment uh in the description there is uh, going to be a link to the uh, forum thread that kind of covers the more detailed basics of this. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the channel, you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday. I promise. I believe with dank memes this time around.